Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for August. This is my second Capricorn reading, so I'll tag the other one to the end. It could happen at any time. Could be today, could be tomorrow, could be next week, whatever. Um, right before I turned the camera on, I, uh, I heard... And I'm kind of reluctant to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. As the edge of glory, the edge of glory. So I listened to it right before I did this. So the song, the edge of glory. So, um, yeah. So you might want to listen to that. I don't know if that. It's, I think it's. I was planning on. You guys have Capricorn has made it to the top of the list. Okay. Just so I don't know what that means, but I wanted. I've been. Capricorn has made it to the top of the list. Okay. So. Ah, look at that. They're just going all over the place. So let's see what we got. Dogs. May have something to do with dogs, but getting together with friends. So you're going to be getting together with somebody. Younger man. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. So I don't know how that resonates. Four leaf clover. Now four leaf clover is good luck. It says, great, good fortune. So there's luck on your side. There is some sort of luck on your side. I don't know what this younger man has to do with it. You know, when I look at this card, this could be a man or a woman. It really could. So I'm not sure if, you know, I'm not sure what's going on here. But you're going to be getting together with somebody. You got some good fortune that is coming. Luck is on your side. Uh, what do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? You got some sort of lucky break here with that four-leaf clover. 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 What do we have? Oh, we got a couple that fell out. Oh my goodness! Younger man again! So there's something to do with a younger man here. Uh, I don't understand what that is, but maybe you do. A new sexual partner. So some of you have, that looks like a woman to me. So I'm not sure what's going on, but you have a new sexual partner here. Mm. If you're a man, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a same sex relationship, but I don't know. Ooh, I don't think so, though. If you're a man, you know, I'm not sure how this younger... Maybe you need to uh, have fun, you know. When you need to go back to when you were younger. Maybe you need to take on that energy of a younger man. Maybe you need to live like you're younger. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Deep spiritual connection. This just fell out. So you have a deep spiritual connection here. Maybe with a new sexual partner. Um... There's love. There is definitely some love here with those those two swans. I mean, that looks like love to me. Let's get one of these. This is just an overall energy. We do have a younger man here, though. Interesting. You got a new sexual. Maybe you're going to go back to your younger days. I don't know. Uh... Make you feel love again. Make you feel like you're young again. You know, maybe you have a deep spiritual connection with somebody that's going to make you feel young again if you're an older man that is watching this. If you are a woman watching this, I'm not sure if you're dealing with a younger man. Um, there is a relationship with a younger man here. High Priestess. Some of you may be dealing with a healer, a tarot reader, a medium, a... An empath, a psychic. Uh, I think that your intuition is going to be on high, okay? You're going to be uh, deepening your spiritual growth during this time as well. Um, deep. I mean, the high priestess is very deep, very mysterious energy, highly intuitive. So either you're dealing with a high priestess or you're becoming or you are the high priestess. Okay, um, we do have a new sexual partner here. There's a lot of, there's a lot of seduction. Um, there is a deep spiritual collect connection. I can't speak. I can't talk for some reason. I haven't had this problem in a while. So there may be something to do with, uh, 
you know, having a hard time uh, communicating. You know, words may not be coming out as they should, but they eventually come out in the right sequence. Um, getting together with friends, new sexual partner, deep spiritual connection. You're going to, in, in the high priestess, is a deep knowing, a deep knowing. So you may have this deep knowing that, you know, this is... Uh, a soulmate maybe I don't know if this is a soulmate with a deep spiritual connection card what do we have what do we have for you definitely are dealing with somebody that is very gifted or you are very gifted because the high priestess is very gifted and the high priestess is deep feelings so there's going to be some deep feelings here um, boundaries something about boundaries So there's something about boundaries here. You may need to set boundaries. We're going to go ahead and read that card and see what it has to say. Um, chase your dreams. Opportunities are endless. Throughout our lives, we sometimes feel our movements are restricted. Whether it's our career, finances, relationship, travel, or living arrangements, we need to grow as individuals, but we can only do that by breaking old molds in creating new experiences. There is so much potential within you, but you must be willing to be bold and brave. So you're gonna have to be bold and brave. Breaking barriers is only possible when you overcome your anxiety about moving past physical or emotional boundaries. While it may be comfortable and less risky to stay where you are, you are there are more opportunities on the other side of the wall. Having the confidence to step forward onto a new path might be a frightening or exhilarating prospect. Have faith, but for moral support, discuss those avenues in your emotions with close friends and family before making any decisions. Maybe this is where that younger man comes in. Maybe you, because maybe you, we have getting together with friends. Maybe you have a friend that is younger than you or, you, or you have somebody that you work with or a family member. Maybe it's a child that can give you some advice. And you may not, you may think that you don't want to take advice from somebody that is younger than you. But maybe they, they have some sort of uh, advice that you have never thought of, you know. Anyhow, um... Right now, your soul is asking you to break away from traditional thinking and to step outside the box to find solutions to the issues you are facing. The universe is encouraging your growth right now by giving you gentle nudges to explore new ideas. Healthy emotional and physical boundaries are encouraged now. Est establish your personal power by creating new boundaries to balance and the give and take in relationships and personal connections. New opportunities will arise when you are ready to take that step forward. Take advantage of the opportunities when they come. You have the momentum to push forward with success now if you choose to do, to, do so. So you have an opportunity to step into new territory, explore new opportunities, but you have to have faith I feel like you have an opportunity to deepen a connection with somebody. There's, there's, there's definitely a spiritual connection with the high priestess and that deep spiritual connection card. Um, I feel like you have a friend or a family member that is younger than you that is probably a male, you know, a masculine energy, a male that can help you to open up in some way. You know, they may, maybe they can give you some advice. Okay. Um, and let's use this deck right here. So what do we have? What do we have for Capricorn? We have a new sexual partner here. But there's also a deep connection with this person, a deep spiritual connection. It could be part of the script. The high priestess holds the script. 
Ace of Pentacles, upright. This is an opportunity. It's a gift. It's a gift from God. This is a gift, a gift of security, stability, long-term potential. Okay? So you have, you have an opportunity for something real, solid, stable, long-term. Temperance. This is a need to go with the flow. Okay, you need to go with the flow. You may need to make some compromises. Um, there's a need for you to uh, allow things to unfold naturally. You know, sometimes this is exchanging something lesser for something better. Sometimes we have to uh, be flexible to create peace and harmony in our lives. Be open to change. This comes after death. Temperance comes after the death card, okay? So there may have been some sort of ending in your life. Something may have ended, and now this is a very healing energy. This is accepting, allowing, going with the flow, compromising to create harmony. Um, I feel like you've been on some sort of journey where you've had to learn. You've had to learn about letting go, and now it's time for you to receive something better. Tower, oh, that's wonderful, isn't it? Tower is a major event that changes your life. It changes your life for the, for the better. This is a blessing in disguise. You may be going through something right now that is completely a shock to you. It may be a complete surprise. Um, this is a major life change. So you're going to be going through. This is a forced change. It's a universe card. So the universe is, is, is going to be forcing you to change your, your environment in some way. There could be a change in your living situation or there's some sort of internal disruption within you in regards to something that is happening. I feel like you are experiencing some sort of major upheaval in your life or you're going to be in the very near future. Your life is about to change. That's, that tower is right around the corner. So I think that your life is about to change in a very big way. The universe is is, is uh, breaking down a false sense of security. They're breaking down a foundation that you have been staying in. Perhaps it's time to uh, start over. I mean, the, the, the tower is a necessary evil. It's when it's time. It's really time for you to start over from scratch. So I, I feel like you're going to be um, given a golden opportunity to start over from scratch. And you need to be... You need to allow. The temperance is about allowing. It's about accepting that, you know, this is over. It's time for you to uh, just go with it. Just go with the flow. Um, magician reversed. Ace of swords. That's a, a new idea, taking a new approach, uh, taking the power. High priestess again. In the upright, so somebody, some of you are deepening your spiritual connection. You're waking up. Ace of Swords right next to the High Priestess. You may be going through a spiritual awakening right now. Or you're developing more of a spiritual, oh, it's a spiritual awakening. You're going through, maybe you're, you're increasing your spiritual abilities. Or you're dealing with somebody that is uh, very spiritual. I mean, the High Priestess is a, is a healer. It's a psychic, tarot reader, medium, that kind of thing. Uh, maybe you have a gift. Some of you may have a gift that um, you're just seeing. You know, you're just really starting to see that you have a gift. If you already know that you have this gift, your your gift may be increasing, put it that way. Um, you're definitely going to be shocked. <clears throat> that tower is a shock. It is a shock. So you're going to be shocked by some sort. Maybe you get some sort of intuitive nudge. You know, you get some, some sort of a wake-up call. Maybe you get an epiphany about something that it's time. It's time for a change. There is definitely a change here. Um, there's a need to go with the flow. You're, you, yeah, you're going to don't just cooperate. Um, don't fight it. You know, don't fight it. God is giving you a gift. They've given you a gift. This, the, the Ace of Pentacles is a gift. It's a blessing. You have two aces here. Aces are, are new beginnings, right? They're new beginnings. It's something you asked for. You, you've manifested this. You may have been asking for change or, or asking for a deep spiritual connection, you know. And if you've been asking for that, well, this is it. This is it.
death. I knew that there was. Now this is in the past. So there's been some sort of major ending here where you, a profound life change. This is a separation. It is a loss. You have experienced some sort of loss that is maybe uh, with a magician reverse right above that. This, this loss may have made you... Uh, not be able to take action, you know, um, unwilling. I feel like you've been holding on to some sort of ending. You've been, maybe you've been confused. You, you've lost your resources. You felt powerless to this ending. It took your power away. So there's been some sort of ending that has depleted you in some way that has caused you, maybe caused you a loss of willpower or something like this stole your power it's like powerless to this change you couldn't control it it was out of your control you've experienced a loss that happened for a reason because temperance is a card of reason it is a card of purpose so this loss happened for a reason because they have something better for you this is actually a gift you may not see it you may not have seen it as a gift or a blessing when it was happening but this happened for a reason it's now it's time for you to re some, receive something more authentic more true to yourself more true to you authentic 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 is coming from this ace of swords right in the middle okay you're going to be gaining some power you're going to be given the power you're going to be giving given something more authentic it's time to take a new approach maybe maybe this loss has uh woken you up you know maybe it's uh made you more spiritual it's made you believe in a higher power or that's what's happening maybe and that's what loss does okay that's what a death will do to you a death will will bring you to your knees and a death doesn't have to be, be an actual death it, it, some sometimes it is it's out of your control but it's a major ending in your life that is forced and it is forced with the tower so there's been some forced change that you have that you have had to go through to deepen your spiritual existence put it that way now you're receiving something better that is more in alignment with you with that temperance card this is was actually a blessing in disguise the tower is a blessing in disguise it's a necessary evil that brings you something better much 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 better it is this is better it is you're, because the temperance is exchanging something letter lesser for something better and so isn't the the ace of pentacles is a gift it's a blessing so you're going to be you are receiving a blessing now okay everything happens for a purpose um you, some of you may be still, or you, if this hasn't happened yet, because the tower is, appears to be right around the corner, you may be experiencing a shocking change, okay? This is, this is a fate, okay? The tower is fate. It is a fated change of residence or existence or something like that. So this is a, it's a massive uh, change that is coming. It's right around the corner, okay? Fool, starting over from scratch, it goes from death to the fool. So there's been a major ending that you have experienced that has broken you free. You're free. You're free to go in whatever direction that you want to go in, okay? Um, this death obviously happened for a reason. You're going to be receiving something better. Now you need to take a risk. This is risky because the fool is starting a new journey. This is the big first card in the tarot, right? So that's the beginning of a new journey. Definitely starting over from scratch. So with the tower as well. So this is, this is a blessing. Something You lost something that uh, may have really been painful because the tower is a painful loss. It wasn't the death. It was a painful loss, but it, now you're going to be you're in you're in a, you're at the very beginning of a new journey. You are right now. Right now, things are changing for you. Right now, you're you are um, going through, a, or you've been through, or you're going through. This is a profound time of self healing, and because you've had to heal, and you've allowed, and you've accepted that this has happened for a reason, you are receiving a new opportunity that is exciting. So you're, this is, this is free. I'm free to go. I'm free to do whatever I want. Right now, you're, you are about to embark on a new chapter of your life. You really are. This is a brand new beginning for you. Have faith. Take a risk. 
This is exciting. It is exciting. You need to be open-minded. Don't let fear hold you back. Just go. Just do it. Just do it. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. It's going to unfold as it should. But you may be feeling some sort of internal disruption because you're shocked. You know, you're absolutely shocked with whatever is happening. You know, maybe, maybe, uh, well, let's get the last card. This is a major uh, disruption. Maybe it's like you didn't expect it to happen. It's unexpected. The towers. So there's an unexpected change. It feels like you're ready right next to the temperance. You're ready. You're ready. Four of Cups reverse. That is taking a new offer. We may not have been interested in the past. Four of Cups in the upright is not interested. It's, it's I don't want it. I'm not interested in love. This is now taking an opportunity. So you're, you may be taking an opportunity for new love, interested in it, you really, really want it, you know, take it. This is, this is an opportunity that maybe you called in. I mean, we have the high priestess first, that uh, twice, we have it twice. So the high priestess has the ability, the divine connection, right, has the ability to call in a soulmate. So I do believe that you are uh, being given an opportunity right now that, that is stable, it is long term, it is a blessing, it is a gift from God. Um, this does lead to uh, emotional fulfillment, but I feel like there's some fear in the way. I feel like you need to listen to your gut, listen to yourself, uh, take time Take your time. You don't need to hurry. There's no need to hurry with this. Just take your time. Temperance is about time. It's about patience. Just be patient. Just allow it to unfold. This, I feel like this is what you asked for because the Ace of Pentacles is a manifestation. This is what you asked for. Um, you may not, you may not realize that this is what you asked for. Um, Maybe you didn't ask for this ending to happen that happened, but, you know, the higher power had, it, it was all part of the script, you know, it was, it had another plan for you. Um, you're going to be investing in something new. I think that you're, this is a blessing. You're being given some blessing um, that is much better in alignment, much better aligned with, with, uh, your spiritual path, your spiritual growth, okay? Whoever this person is that is coming into your life or that is in your life, they're going to help you to evolve spiritually. They're helping you. They're on the same level, okay? You're on the same level with this person. Um, so, yeah, I feel like this is risky. I feel like it's a little bit scary, but, you know, endings lead to new beginnings. We have death right next to the fool, okay? That is, a, that is an ending, that leads to a, a new beginning, okay? It really is. So whatever ending this is that you had, you know, you probably didn't ask for that ending, but the universe, which is the tower card, had something better in mind for you. Um, so you're gonna be receiving an offer, okay, that is real, okay? The Ace of Pentacles is real. Um, this is something that it can lead to long-term permanent success. Um, it's going to bring you emotional fulfillment as well and develop your spiritual growth. It's going to assist, assist in your spirituality. Whoever you're dealing with is very, very spiritual. Okay, we got the high priestess twice. This person is a healer or a counselor or a, like I said, tarot reader, medium, psychic, whatever. Um, you're going to be shocked by this deep connection. This is a shock. It is a shock. Seven of Pentacles, there could be relocation, okay, relocating here. Um, you may be thinking, is it worth it? Should, is it worth it? You know, this is about uh, uh, planting seeds someplace else, uh, digging up, digging up, going someplace else. Um, I do feel like that is on the table here. You may be thinking about relocating. Maybe you're going to be uh, building a new foundation someplace else. Or there's going to be a change in your foundation, a change on the home front. I do also feel like you're feeling a little bit surprised or shocked on the inside. You may be feeling a little uneasy with this change. Because it, when, we, when we start a new journey, and we definitely have starting a new journey here, starting a new chapter, it's scary. It's scary. What if, you know, what if 
What if it falls apart? What if, what if I'm being stupid? What if I'm being naive? What if, what if, um, it doesn't grow? I mean, what if I invest in this and it doesn't grow? I mean, that there's fear here. But with that boundaries card, maybe you want to go back and and re and listen again to what I what I read. You know, you need, it's time to remove that wall, right? It's time to step over that wall, okay? And experience all the joy and the happiness that is on the other side. Break your wall. Let let your walls down, okay? Son upright this is complete happiness this is bliss this is joy this is yes this is a breakthrough this is a new day it is a new beginning this is a new life this is a life-giving energy yes yes it's beautiful this is warmth it is happiness extreme this is the happiest card in the deck this is this is a bright new beginning yes 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 and the Ace of Pentacles is a yes answer as well. The birth, this is the birth of a new life. This is a rebirth after you have been through something huge that, you know, took your power away for a minute. This is what you asked for. Take it. This is going to make you extremely happy. Somebody is very interested with the Four of Cups reversed. They're, and I'm not sure if it's somebody that has passed you up. You know, maybe they passed you up or something or you pass them up. There is a, a very big interest here with the Four of Cups. Maybe there's been a missed opportunity. Maybe you missed an opportunity in the past. Maybe it's because you were afraid. It's time for you to communicate Take a new approach. Step out of your fear. Follow your gut. There's a deep spiritual connection here that is worth it. Take the risk. Somebody is very interested in you. Very, very, very interested. And I feel like they've been hiding behind a wall. This person has been hiding a wall. They're about to break down their walls as well. Get prepared for some communication from somebody. I feel like whoever you're dealing with uh, may have been uh, unwilling. They were unwilling to start over, but now they are. So I don't know how that resonates with you. But you are going to be receiving um, a golden opportunity from somebody that is going to, that is ready. This person is ready. They're ready for a new beginning. So that's what I got. Good luck.